Most of the mortality and most of the death from tobacco and smoking related disorder is happening from cardiovascular disease. And by the statistics of India, every week around 13,000 Indian males above the age of 15 are dying from tobacco related diseases. This is because of nearly 20%, nearly 20.4% of all adult Indian moles are tobacco consumption and the total of, in the percentage form, the total number of uh, deaths that can be attributed to tobacco related diseases around 13 percent of all mortality of India can be related to tobacco related diseases. This is the data from 2016. Cardiovascular diseases both according to the WHO predictions and according to the Indian data uh, most of the global mortality will happen from cardiovascular diseases that includes ischemic heart disease, heart attacks and stroke and when I mean, well, and tobacco is one of the important uh, modifiable risk factors for this kind of disease. So if you focus the attention of uh, smoking and tobacco related diseases with specific reference to cardiovascular disease and we see its overall impact, any change in the smoking and tobacco consumption pattern will have effect on cardiovascular diseases and ultimately will have a much larger effect on global and um, Southeast Asian mortality um, per se. How does the tobacco affect cardiovascular system? The, uh, the tobacco related diseases affect, uh, the tobacco affects cardiovascular physiology in various ways. It can activate clotting mechanisms and it can cause to inflammation of blood vessels which lead to coronary heart disease leading to heart attacks and angina, myocardial infarctions and angina. It can uh, relate to tobacco consumption can mean an increase in blood pressure which again uh, implies the peripheral vascular diseases, cardiovascular diseases, renal diseases, stroke, everything rises by the rise of blood pressure. It can cause insulin resistant blood clot abnormalities, higher catecholamines level, or give rise to an adverse cardiovascular health. And it can also cause disturbance in the structure of the vessels when it occurs in the larger vessels. It can, it can weaken the muscular wall and can cause aneurysms of iota. And if we see this is something that we have been seeing um, in our own patients. Uh, this is on the left hand panel. This is the right coronary artery. On the left hand panel is a smooth looking tubular normal right coronary artery. But on your right sided panel there is a right coronary artery which is hugely ectatic and narrowed and dilated at certain portions. When this happens, uh, when this happens, the normal pulsatile flow of blood inside coronary arteries is impeded because this artery is very ectatic and it has got um, a weakening of its muscular bed. And this forms of artery, the ectatic coronary arteries, gives rise to acute coronary syndromes and heart attack because there is sluggish blood flow here and sluggish blood flow leads to more clotting. Typically, this form of ectatic coronary arteries we are seeing in patients who have oral tobacco consumption and we have a series of 170 patients where we have proved that oral tobacco consumptions without any other cardiovascular risk factors was leading to acute coronary syndrome and this kinds of these kinds of ectatic coronary arteries. So secondhand smoke is also dangerous. Secondhand smoke um, is something which we have to focus our attention to. It is, uh, it is very effectively related to sudden infant death syndrome when uh, you know a pregnant lady is exposed to secondhand smoke it is, it is related to asthma, it is related to middle layer disease, coronary heart disease, lung cancer, and so on and so forth. So this is the 2014 uh, General's Report. It mentions very clearly the reduction in smoking prevalence over the last 50 years uh, from about half in U.S. men and one third of U.S. women to nowadays, which is around 20% and 15% in males and females respectively. This is one of the major risk factors contributing to the decline of cardiovascular diseases um, in United States. So in United States, cardiovascular diseases overall incidence is decreasing uh, gradually from 1950s to the 2010s. And two major contributing factor for, those de for, for that decline is a decrease in consumption of tobacco and a much better control of hypertension. Like quitting helps. 
Within 20 minutes, your heart rate and your blood pressure falls down. Within 12 hours, your carbon monoxide level comes to normal. Within one to nine months, your cuffness, shortness of breath improves. Within one year, your risk of coronary heart disease is off, is about half that of a smoker. And if you quit smoking to 10 to 15 years, then you gradually come back to the level of risk of non-smoker of cardiovascular diseases per se. You, of course, remain a little higher risk for malignancies. I thank you for your kind attention and thank you.